guys what up and welcome back it's been a minute right yeah um sorry about that however i do have a um kind of good reason no it's actually a really good reason i'm sorry about that for real but um i think i told you guys that i was starting a new project i don't remember if i did or not but i did start a new project and it's been kicking my ass um so i really haven't had the time to sit down in front of the camera and like do stuff and also after my last video when y'all were shooting down all of my bad choices thank you for that by the way um i had to go in and like see what new things i wanted to get so um i've actually been spending the last two weeks buying stuff nothing is here yet a couple of things were supposed to come yesterday and apparently ups decided not to deliver it even though they were out delivering shit but yeah so i haven't gotten any of the stuff yet everything is supposed to come on monday that's what everything all of the you know delivery stuff is saying um estimated delivery monday so hopefully everything will get here on monday um but i did have uh something that i got a couple of weeks ago and, and that's to show you how how much i haven't had the time to actually do anything because i've been sitting on these things for probably uh maybe a couple of days after they launched and I haven't had a chance to do anything with them yet. And that is the um, Color Perfect Foundation Stick from, what is it, Black Radiance. And also the Loose Setting Powder from Black Radiance. So if you want to see me try these out today, um, stick around because it's going to be coming up right now. And while you're sticking around, hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. And, and... Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Okay, see you in a little I bit. I did get this from CVS, and like I said, I got it about two weeks ago. And honestly, the reason why I wasn't going to do it was because, number one, I don't think I got the right shade. Um, <clears throat> when I was looking at the... Listen, this is what happens when you have choices. You know, things become very confusing. So I was looking at all the shades, and they look so similar. Like, the only thing that I could see was, like, slight differences in undertone in all the colors that I was looking at. Um, I'm not really sure... It's 1049, by the way. I'm on the Black Radiance website, and I did pay 1049 for it at um, CVS. And CVS did have all the colors because there are only 10 shades of this foundation. And um, I really, honestly, I couldn't tell which shade to get. So finally, I just kind of picked one, and I was just like, I hope this works. I hope this works. But then when I got home and I kind of swatched it on my hand, it seemed really emollient, and I was just like, I'm really not interested in this foundation, but I was really interested in the loose powder um, because for once I would like to have a loose powder that is not either too red on me or too dark on me or too drying on me because I love the Huda powders, but they can sometimes look super drying. So I'm hoping that this is, doesn't look um, like that. Anyway, so the True Complexion Loose Setting Powder, I got it in the shade Honeymoon and I believe I also paid $10.49 for this. Um, I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Honestly, I should have gotten the um, the liquid foundation uh, because I've really been wanting to try that. So if this doesn't work out for me, and I really don't think it's going to because I think it's going to be a little bit too emollient. So if that doesn't work out for me, I'll go back and I'll get the um, the regular foundation. So the True Complexion Loose Setting Powder is, um, oh, and I do have some of their blushes, is 849, not 1040, not 1049. Sorry about that. Um, and it only comes in three shades. It comes in, um, it comes in, wait, they had another one at Walgreens, but the website only has two. So it comes in Honeymoon, which is the lighter of the two shades, and then it comes in Coco Kisses, which was too dark for me, so I was just like, yeah, no, that's not going to work. And it also had a white, loose, translucent setting powder, too, but I didn't get that because I, you guys know I don't like white powders. But anyway, let me stop rambling and get to it. So, <clears throat> like I said, I got the shade Bronze Glow. It looks like this. And really, I chose it for the undertone because the other two looked about the same color but one of them had a neutral undertone and the other one had kind of a yellow goldeny undertone so i did pick this one up and that's what that one looks like give you guys a little swatch and i'm hoping that even if this is a little bit too light the powder will um kind of make it you know not so light and then on the bottom of the tube it has this little thing which i have zero intentions of using it just looks awkward but um 
I can see the allure of using this if you're on the go. I wouldn't use it, but that's just me. It blends it out pretty nicely, but like I said, I wouldn't use it. Uh, the setting powder. I haven't even opened the setting powder yet. That's just to show you. It comes with this little thing right here. And then, ooh, girl, bull in a china shop, y'all. Anyway, <laughs> that's what the setting powder looks like. <clears throat> All right, so now your girl about to shut up and get into it. But just to let y'all know, I have my part of a project that's due tomorrow at 6 o'clock. And then I have other things to do. So this is actually not going to be um, a one of those three-day wear test businesses because I just don't have the time this week for that. Um, so this is really uh, first impressions. And once again, because I'm not really interested in the foundation, I just don't, From based on the swatch that I took earlier this week or when I first got it, I just don't think that the texture of the foundation is something that I'm going to like, but I'm super interested in the, the powder. But So I figured since I was going to, you know, do the powder anyway, I might as well use it with the, um, with the foundation. So which is why I'm doing it like that. But I'm, I'm really not, you know, the foundation ain't my, it ain't my thing right now, but we're going to use it anyway. All right, let me shut up and let's just go. And as I thought, the foundation is a little bit too light. Um, but, you know, it's funny because it doesn't feel as emollient as it did when I first tried it. Oh, my God. It's one of those foundations I'm going to be able to feel on my face. I can already tell. Oh, my God. It just it feels heavy. It really does. And I haven't even done anything yet. Okay, so maybe it's not a little bit too light, but it is. It's definitely not a full coverage foundation. I think it's a light or medium coverage foundation. I'm not sure how buildable it's going to be. And honestly, after the initial, I can't really feel it on my face that much. So maybe this is going to turn into a foundation review after all. Huh, go figure. So yeah, you can see it, like, is it doesn't look too light until I put more on and then we shall see. Okay, so... One side of my face with the foundation, the other side without the foundation. Couple of things that I'm noticing. First of all, I don't hate it. Surprisingly enough, it doesn't feel as emollient as it did the day that I got it. I think maybe because it was like 60 degrees outside and I had it in the car for a minute. So maybe that's why I started to melt or whatever. But um, the color is not too light for me. Go figure. Um, the undertone, I think, is what saved it from the color being too light. Because, like I said, there were three shades that look almost exactly the same. And they all had different undertones. And I picked the one that looked most orange. So, yeah. Um, I kind of like it. I like, um, it's very, it's very perfect. And it looks like your skin, but better. Um, it doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup. Which is always a good thing, to me anyway. Um, but yeah, this is what my face looks like so far. I'm going to finish the rest of my face off camera. Like, um, I'm just going to do the other side of my face and then my under eyes as well and then I'll come back with the powder and you'll see how everything looks at this point we're gonna just turn this into a foundation review it's just gonna be a first impressions um, foundation review because I kind of like the foundation I didn't think that I would based on um, the initial swatch that I did on my arm but like I said it was sitting in the car so probably anyway so I like this foundation I really do um, a couple of things that I'm noticing right off the bat if you have dry skin you're probably not going to like this foundation. It's not going to be the easiest foundation to work in. Um, it's a little bit dry, which, like I said, with the Wet n Wild uh, foundation, I'm not mad at because I do have combination oily skin, and I do like for my makeup to last. Um, and it's nice to have, like, a convenient stick. 
Second, it's not the easiest foundation to work in at all. Um, so there's that as well. So I'm not doing anything really uh, big today. I'm not going out because um, someone has my car and I didn't plan on going out today anyway because I have a lot of stuff to do both in the house and work wise. So I don't know if you guys notice or not but the foundation does oxidize so bear that in mind. So now I'm gonna just use the um, the powder and set my face. I've done some like bronzing around the perimeters of my face, lipstick, but that's about it. And I'm just gonna use this brush. It's not like the most finely milled powder. Um, I'm just gonna use this brush to press it into my skin. All right, so this powder is not the most finely milled powder. That doesn't make it a bad powder. Um, I do tend to like my powders a little bit more finely milled. It does come with this puff thing that I wouldn't use, but okay, it's there. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit on the yellow side, which is not necessarily a bad thing either. Um, the foundation does oxidize. Uh, it got a little bit darker, which is fine as well. Um, but yeah, this is what my face looks like right now. I'm probably just, I'm probably not going to do anything else. I'm really not because like I said, I'm not going anywhere today so I don't really need it's now to. now 1.09 and we're going to go about the day. Um, I have some cleaning to do, I have some washing to do, I have some cooking to do, and I have some work to do so it's going to be a day. Um, but yeah, this is what my face looks like guys um, and I will see you back here later. Hey guys, Bye. what up? Welcome back. It is I. <sighs> so I almost forgot that I had to do this wrap up because it is now... 1 12 a.m. and I'm not gonna keep it long I'm just gonna keep it short and say that um, I'm probably going to return this foundation um, and the powder as well but let me tell you why okay so I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have no foundation right here um, the foundation has slipped it's bunched up in places so it's like bunched up here it's all gone from here completely absolutely and then I have a bunch of shifting like it's bunched up in this area right here um, everything is gone from right here of course it's gone from my nose because it's always gone from my nose um, and it has bunched up here there is nothing here and once again it's gone from right here um, and same thing with my forehead like I don't have anything here but I have foundation here, none here, here. Yeah. This is not it for me. It might be it for somebody else, but it's not for me. So yeah. No. But all right guys, I'm done. One o'clock in the morning. I'm about to go we'll take a shower, wash my face, all that good jazz. Um, but as usual, it's been real, it's been fun, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.